CSU Rams football in the bold new era led by first-year head coach Jim McElwain. Welcome to the Ram Report with Jim McElwain. Touchdown, Colorado State! And CSU is going to win this thing! Hi everybody, welcome inside Co's BMW. It's another edition of the Ram Report with head coach Jim McElwain as we talk some Colorado State Ram football. Brian Roth with you along with the head coach of the Colorado State Rams, Jim McElwain. CSU goes on the road, loses one down at Falcon Stadium to the Air Force Falcons. And, and Jimmy, we've talked about getting off to good starts and a slow start yesterday really killed you. Yeah, it did. And, and uh, you know, it was interesting because uh, you know, sometimes you, you, you defend and, and you work against that kind of offense and, and uh, you know, what happens to you is you worry more about what they're doing instead of what you're doing. And, and I thought our guys at times were more concerned about maybe the techniques that were being used against them rather than just going and attacking and playing the game the way it should be. Sometimes maybe thinking too much kind of slows you down by a half it, step? It absolutely does. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I give credit to them. They, they, uh, they came out and really imposed their will on us. And, um, you know, that, that's very disappointing as, as a coach uh, in charge of a program. You know, your guys need to go out and play with that passion and, and that energy. And that's something we uh, will really work on again this week. All right, let's take you out to Falcon Stadium. A beautiful Saturday afternoon for the Rams and the Falcons. Colorado State and Air Force hook up for the 51st time in the school's histories. Gain of 52, first down and goal. They'll run the option to the left side. Toss to the tailback. He's in. Touchdown. The Falcons with the lead. First down and 10 from the 46. They're going to go deep, wide open down the middle of the field. Ball is caught. And Drew Coleman will waltz into the end zone with Nary, a Ram player within 15 yards. Big play here. Play fake. Grayson wants to throw on third and one. Fires over the middle. Carton Wright stabs it out of the air at the 44, and he's dropped at that point. Falcons now at the Ram 35 yard line. Deep to the play fake. He wants to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Going to go deep into the end zone, and it is batted down, incomplete. Nearly intercepted by DeAndre Elliott. Under center is Dietz. Dietz keeps it himself, tosses near side, diving pylon, touchdown, Ty McArthur. So Harrington will boot it away. This is going to be returnable. It's going to be clubbed from his own one yard line. Straight ahead to the five, he's to the 10. But broken tackle at 20 25, has it out to 30, and nearly broke out of another tackle as he was tracked down from behind. Pistol formation, Grayson from the gun. They're going to run the option. Grayson takes it himself and dives out across the 45 to the 46. Uh, he's holding that left shoulder from first glance, and Grayson indeed down at the 46 yard line. MJ McPeak going to work from the gun. Four man rush. McPeak throws deep down the fourth sideline. Wide open ball caught by Greenwood, and he's off to the races. Touchdown, Colorado State. Welcome to Division I football, MJ McPeak. Zach Teejan has also been lost in this game with a sprained knee. From the gun, McPeak takes a snap, going to fire deep out, looking for Marquis. Ah, he went up and got it. Third down and eight for the Rams. McPeak takes a snap. Here comes the blitz, fires deep over the middle. Ball caught, touchdown. Sliding catch in the end zone. It was Crockett Gilmore. And it'll bring up second down and nine for the Rams, 45. Toss sweep to Getz, lost the football. Loose on the turf. Colorado State says they have it at the 40-yard line, and they do. McPeak takes the snap, looking to the left, throws underneath, got it to Woke, stutter steps, got it to midfield, and has it to the 48-yard line of Falcon territory, and he lost the ball at the end of the play, and Air Force has it. First down to 10 for the Rams at their own 40-yard line. Play fake. McPeak unloading, going deep, looking for Greenwood, has a step, and it is caught at the 10. Down to the five, down to the two. The ball was underthrown, didn't matter. It's gonna be second and goal to go from the one yard line again to give to Morris, and I'm not sure he got any fun with the ball. Rams have recovered it in the end zone, and it's a touchdown. And this will be the final play of the game, first and 10, run left the right side. And Joe Brown takes it to the 39, pick up of four yards, and that'll do it. Again, 42-21, the final score from Falcon Stadium. The Rams go down in defeat. And, and a couple of things to, to talk about on the positive side, the offense, uh, uh, the most total yards that you've had all season long. And, and there were some bright spots, and 
you know, you never like to lose guys. Garrett Grayson goes down, but you have guys that were ready to step up, and one of those guys is MJ McPeak. Yeah, and MJ, uh, he's done a really good job since we've been here. Um, he's accepted a role, yet has continued to learn. And, and uh, you know, I think the reps that we get him in practice showed he, he was prepared. Uh, you know, you hate to see that happen to anybody, and obviously when it's your starting quarterback. Uh, yet at the same time, uh, as you know, I'm not a guy who worries about the guys who aren't there. I worry about the ones who are. So it's important now that we, we get a plan together, you know, that, that uh, MJ can handle and, and, and go out and perform. And, and uh, I thought he did some good things in the game. Yeah, I, I was impressed about how well he handled the situation. I mean, here's a kid, Jim, as you know, had never taken a college snap until the first quarter when Garrett lost his shoe, and lo and behold, he's in for the rest of the game, essentially. So now you tell me, right? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> but he didn't but, look like a kid. You no, know, he, he's that's. But but it really speaks volumes, and he's a guy who has earned a scholarship with us, you know, before the season. And uh, you know, he's a guy on our leadership council, so it tells you what his teammates believe in him. And I think that that's really important, especially when you talk the quarterback position. All right, we'll take our first time out here of the program, but don't go anywhere. When we come back here on the Ram Report, we'll hear some post-game reaction from the Rams players. Stay with us.